Listen to me now. Gonna say it loud. Don't get it twisted. What we're talking about. Hey, y'all. It's me. Back with another video. Did y'all hear that? I'll be there. Okay. Oh, these glasses are filthy. I can't see. Alright, we're going to do a mindfulness uh, video. We haven't done that in a while. So we're going to combine a mindfulness in a plant video in one video. And then we're going to talk about something else later. I am probably going to go live later on, but we're going to do a mindfulness right now. Really? It's good to have an end in mind, but in the end, what counts is how you travel. Orna Ross. Cute bike. Affirm it, believe it. Affirmations are quiet reminders that you repeat to yourself either during your meditation or as you go about your day. They can be particularly helpful if you find you are stuck in a negative thought loop. Choose an affirmation that has meaning for you such as everything that is happening now is happening for my ultimate good or i am at peace with the world this is a perfect one for today especially with everything that has been going on lately to just keep affirming that you are at peace you are at peace you are at peace with the world i am at peace with the world some smell like it's burning i'm at peace I'm at peace. I'm at peace with the world. If you don't repeat anything else today, that would be the perfect thing to just, you know, put in a loop in your mind instead of worrying or tripping off of every time we go out to a public place, something could happen. I am at peace. I am at peace with the world. I'm at peace. Now, someone asked about... Um, my lipstick plant and so i wanted to uh give her an opportunity to make a grand entrance this is my uh lipstick plant and this is the black pagoda version uh she has not bloomed yet uh lipstick plants uh bloom the flowers look like a tube of lips of lipstick that's why they're uh given the name uh lipstick plant i do not know the um latin uh name for this plant but i'm pretty sure someone will because y'all love to correct people and if you know the name, I, I don't have a problem with you, you know, telling me what it is. Just tell me nicely. Um, put You can put the name of the plant, um, the Latin name, if you have it on there. I like this plant because the underside of the leaves is a darker color. I'm pretty sure that's why it is called the Black Pagoda because under there... Her under leaves are uh, darker, or a darker color. The newer leaves is, is still kind of light, but the older leaves, the, the color is a lot uh, darker. Um, she has been a slow growing plant for me. I don't know why I've put her in uh, different uh, areas of the house. I noticed it... it does like to be i think this is a hanging plant for one thing and i didn't have it hanging so i put it on a top shelf i put it on top of a a, a shelf where the the uh leaves can droop down 
and it seems like she's growing a little bit more now hanging plants are hanging plants for a reason they do enjoy being able to you know droop their leaves down but it does look like she's growing but it then it looks like her leaves are trying to come towards the sun because I moved her away from the the window because it didn't seem like she was doing good really close to the window. So I moved her away from the window. But it does look like she's growing now. It's I see a lot of uh, new leaves where I wasn't seeing a, a lot of new leaves at first. And I was getting a lot of uh, leaves falling off even though I was watering her on a regular basis. She was, as a matter of fact, she looks like she needs some water now. Yeah, you kind of dry, girl. Um, I was having a lot of leaves um, dropping off. Like, he got one right here. So, she still is dropping some leaves, but not as bad. Well, this one is just torrid. Um, not as bad as she was. So, it does look like she's growing now that I moved her over. I'm just going to watch, you know, just really watch her. And if she flowers, I will let you guys know because, oh, I do, you know, when, when my plants flower, I do make, you know, a really big deal out of them flowering because, you know, I really think that once your plants flower, it's like, okay, I did it. I'd be so happy. When they flower, I am so happy. It, to get a plant to flower in the house, I just, you know, I really think is a um, big deal. Now, I try to propagate the lipstick plant, and it don't look like it's doing too good. These are some of the uh, babies that I took off of it. This is, this is uh, my little propagation uh, station. And these are some of the babies that I took off of the lipstick plant, a Hoya, and a, a Philodendron Brazil. And it don't look like it's really doing that well, but I'm, you know, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Oh, and I think it's a little piece of a wandering Jew in there also. And I mean, I'm going to give it a little bit of water. We gonna see how it works. I don't know. It's it's still alive. That's a good thing. It's still alive. It just don't look like it's really thriving. And this poor little Hoya, she just I don't know. That Hoya look like I don't look like I'm gonna make it, girl. But that's my little propagation station. So hopefully, um, they make it. Okay, that's it. Say your affirmations for today. Stay positive. It's a lot going on in the world, but we don't have to be drugged down into a pit of depression because all of this bad stuff is going on. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! One for the money, two for the show. Don't play me, honey. This is how we go.